I've looked after thousands of people with HIV over the years. There have been um, two, possibly three people who have been cured of AIDS. They all had the same characteristics, in other words, they're all three people who were suffering different forms of blood cancers. They were treated with either radiotherapy or chemotherapy, followed by an infusion of cells called uh, stem cells, which were naturally resistant to HIV. The problem about achieving a cure with HIV is that when the immune cells are infected with the HIV virus, a small proportion of them are what we call latent cells. They are cells that, although they are infected with HIV, uh, remain dormant. Therefore, when you give antiretroviral therapy, they remain untouched. Uh, and the problem we've got in curing in general is how do you get rid of those cells. These cells can last for three decades and therefore, no matter how long you treat people with antiretrovirals for their HIV, the HIV is going to come back unless you actually treat these latent cells. We've got the dramatic thing that with these people with cancer where you actually give people chemotherapy or radiotherapy and kill them off and replace them with stem cells. Um, but, on, uh, but that's clearly not something you can do for most people because that's a highly dangerous procedure only to be used for people with cancer. But in the laboratory you can do it, you can take cells uh, in, a, in a petri dish, in a test tube and feed them various chemicals which will either wake these cells up, turn them into a state of reproduction which means then they are susceptible to uh, antiretroviral therapy or you can put substances inside this, the uh, test tube which will actually attack those cells recognizing that they're containing HIV and destroy those cells. And things are only going to get better. We're, we're on the cusp now of injectable treatments where people instead of taking tablets will perhaps only be able to need to have injections every few weeks for their treatment.